The Arabs have blasted away ACR Alkmaar in the Europa Conference League third round qualifier. And in doing so, in the process, they have put the other Scottish teams to shame. Fuck Mullerwell, fuck Rangers, Dundee United, bringing it home tonight and showing the teams in Scotland how it should be done. Welcome back, guys, to Son of Scotland TV. Absolutely delighted tonight, man. Got to watch the Dundee United versus AC Alba match. Finally, a game we can actually watch that's on TV. We don't have to try and, like, pirate some mad illegal fucking website for outer space just to be able to put our eyes on a football game for 90 minutes. We actually got it on telly, on the BBC Scotland, nonetheless. And we had that super, that big, sexy man, James McFadden, the goal scorer against France, uh, doing the commentary as well. So you couldn't ask for much more. And you couldn't ask for much more from Don D United. Despite, I thought, a, a pretty shaky opening five minutes where I thought, you know what, maybe Dundee United could be in a bit of trouble here. After five, ten minutes, I mean, they were they were playing like fucking pros. They looked like they were experienced to European football. They looked like they did this shit every single year. And they were the better team. First half, no doubt about it. AC and Altma were, were second best throughout the game. Uh, Dundee United created good opportunities, created good openings. The goalkeeper for me was very dodgy, especially with his distribution. Th that was the main worry I had for Dundee United, but he almost gave a chance. He passed it straight to the Alkma player. That could have been a disaster. A goal that early would have changed the entire mood of the game. But thankfully, nothing came from it. And like I said, Dundee United kept getting forward, kept creating opportunities. You had Stephen Fletcher playing as a target man up front. Tony Watt was playing out on the left. And every time he picked the ball up, he would drive towards the ace at Alkma defence. And he did. He looked dangerous. Now, his end product wasn't the greatest, unfortunately. But with the ball... You felt like he could, he could create chances. You felt like he could get into dangerous positions. Best chance for Dundee United came uh, down the left-hand side. No surprise. Ball gets played. It's a nice pass. Ball gets played in towards the new signing from Livingston. Sabald. He takes a wonderful first touch. It takes it away from the Alkmaar player. He runs onto it and hits a shot. Unfortunately, the shot was right at the goalkeeper, and it wasn't John McLaughlin. It was actually somebody capable of making a save when the ball is hit directly straight at him. So it was still Dundee United nil, A said Alkmaar nil as we end the half time, but Dundee United looked the more promising team. Going into the half time interval, my first thoughts were I thought Dundee United should have took a better. I, should, I thought they should have took more advantage of the opening half. I thought that they should have maybe, you know, just tried to create a little bit more, be be more uh, useful with the, their chances in the final third. And I thought, you, I don't think Dundee United can be that much better than Alba in the second half. So I thought they should have took advantage when they were clearly the superior team in the opening 45 minutes. And I thought they should have had a lead going into the break. But they came out second half and they started just as good. The, the passing, the, the little touches, they were so calm on the ball. They were controlling the game, you know. Normally, you'd expect maybe, as just a Scottish team, when we're up against, like, higher opposition, you'd expect us maybe just to sit back and defend, backs against the wall, long balls forward, you know, try and hit them on the counter. Dundee United weren't doing that. They were playing out from the back. They were controlling the game. Uh, every time they had the ball in midfield, they just looked calm and composed, and it was creating opportunities. And then we had Glenn Middleton. He was charging forward. Jamie McGrath, who had just recently signed Dundee United, came on as a substitute. Middleton ran into the final third, passed it to McGrath. I thought McGrath was going to go for a nice wee back heel flick, but he didn't. He turned his body around. He managed to play it back into the path of Middleton. The pass wasn't great, though, so it was kind of played behind Middleton a wee bit. But he takes a nice wee touch takes it onto his left hand side, opens up his body and hits it on his left foot and he curls it around the defender and curls it around the goalkeeper and it was in the back of the net. This was a great finish from Glenn Middleton, a player that I think, you know, he, he had, yeah, he, you know, he didn't have the greatest time at Rangers, but I think he's still a good player. I think we shouldn't just put Glenn Middleton down as some sort of failure or say that he's not good enough at this level because he showed tonight 
that he can finish. You know, that was a great quality finish for Middleton. And uh, I think he could have a really good season this year at Dundee United. And that gave Dundee United 1-0. And they, they totally deserved it. And in fairness, they probably deserved to be more than 1-0 up. We had Stephen Fletcher had a couple of chances. Nothing clear cut. But, you know, he, he was getting touches in the box, which is good, obviously. Couldn't really get anything on target, though. We had a, a Charlie Mulgrew strike from about 35 yards. Decent shot, but the ball just got pulled wide. Keeper Mia had it covered. And then the later we get into the game, the more AC Alkma came forward. But again, they never created anything clear cut. You know, they were feeding on scraps. They were getting shots away, but everything was pretty much blocked from Dundee United. The keeper had, like, one decent save to make late on. I think with a couple of minutes to go, and then there was another chance AC Alkma had where... The uh, Dundee United player headed the ball away. Uh, Charlie Mulgrew made a couple of good sliding challenges. But overall, there was, there was never one chance where Ace and Alkma, you know, had. And you thought, wow, they should have scored that. Or I can't believe they haven't scored that. You know, they were kind of feeding on scraps. Um, Dundee United's press tonight was great. Didn't give Ace and Alkma any time on the ball. Made them feel uncomfortable. And uh, yeah, from the first minute to the 90th minute, Dundee United, I thought, were fantastic tonight. Done themselves proud. Done Scottish football proud. And not only that, they give themselves a real chance now of advancing into the next stage. And I think they've got a very favourable draw. They've got Riga and they've got Gil Vincente, I think it is. So I think if, I think Dundee, I think the winner of this tie will be in the Europa Conference League. I believe the winner of this tie will beat the, the winner of the tie that they're set to face in the playoff round. So... Question is, can Dundee United do it in Holland? I think they should have took a bigger lead to Holland. I think they deserved to win by at least two goals tonight. Didn't happen. So, yeah, they are going to have to put in another great 90 minutes. They might have to be even better than this in Holland if they're going to see out this result. But, yeah, I can't ask for much more. Great win for Dundee United. They take a 1-0 advantage into the second matchup and they give themselves a real chance of being, it looks like, the first Scottish team to advance from a tie in this year's European competitions. Anyway, guys, that's it. So it's got on TV. Let me know what you thought down below. Uh, really proud of Dundee United tonight. I predicted it would be a 1-1 draw. I was close. Almost got it right. I said 1-1. Dundee United 1-1-0. I'm happy to be wrong. I, I did think that Dundee United got a great acquisition this, se this season in uh, Jack Ross. I think he will do big things. I think he was very harshly done by at Hibs getting sacked like that. So, yeah, no, I expect big things they've done the United. I have predicted them to finish fifth. I think they'll be very, very close uh, with Aberdeen in the league table. I expect big things they've done the United, and I think they can go on. I think they can finish this tie in Holland. Is it going to be easy? No, it's going to be difficult. We know that. But based on what I've seen tonight, I think they can do it. You know, they're good in defence. They've got quality players in the midfield. And up front, they've got goals with the likes of Tony Watt and Stephen Fletcher. So, you know what, Dundee, I think, are the total package. And I think they can do it. So, that's it, guys. That's it for the match review. Let me know what you thought down below. I will catch you in the next one. But until then, peace.